Local drug enforcement agency officers playing a key role in a massive international drug bust. Barbara, information gathered right here in Hampton Roads led to the arrest of three men. Reporter Julio Avila shows us the haul and explains how they made the bust. All of this, roughly 1,500 kilos of cocaine worth between $45 million to $55 million, were making their way up the Pacific Ocean. The drugs and the men transporting them didn't make it far because their vessel was intercepted by a U.S. Coast Guard ship patrolling international waters. Wherever they were going to come in, they were going to bring it other places. But the idea was stopping that so even part of that or a large part of that doesn't come to Hampton Roads or really anywhere else. Right? Three men from Colombia were on that vessel. They were detained and were actually being sought after by the Drug Enforcement Agency. In fact, the local office here in downtown Norfolk played a crucial role in an investigation that spanned it for several years. So these Colombian nationals actually weren't from Hampton Roads, right? The information started in Hampton Roads and we found their supplier and their supplier and their supplier and so on. Catherine Hayek with the DEA's Washington office also says the location of the Norfolk office is also crucial. Those are some of our busiest offices just because of geographically where Norfolk area is. She says local law enforcement helped with the investigation, obtaining information from regular people. They piece together these informations and it, we try to go all the way up the chain and find that source of supply. So that's exactly what happened here. With that information, they were able to build a case that would lead to the three men. We bring them into Miami and take apart the drugs and we get all the information and we were able to have these guys plead guilty and process this, which is great. The three men will now be sentenced in federal court in July in Norfolk. Julio Avila, News 3. Let us now look at the COVID-19 pandemic and the latest case numbers in the Commonwealth.